alongside a statement lauding them as heroes, the faces and names of those killed as they tried to help. The seven men and women who died providing food to those desperately in need in northern Gaza. Among them, three British men working as the security detail. Released with the pictures, words from World Central Kitchen CEO Erin Gore, these seven beautiful souls were killed by the IDF in a strike as they were returning from a full day's mission, she said. Their smiles, laughter and voices are forever embedded in our memories and we have countless memories of them giving their best selves to the world. We are reeling from our loss, the world's loss. Israel's Prime Minister had already acknowledged it was their forces that had carried out what he called an unintended strike. But last night, this statement from an Israeli military chief. It was a mistake that followed a misidentification at night during a war in a very complex conditions. It shouldn't have happened. They were killed having just unloaded 100 tonnes of humanitarian aid brought to Gaza by boat. The branded vehicle they'd been travelling in shown here, ripped open. Alongside other world leaders, Rishi Sunak has demanded an explanation into what happened. Zomi Frankham was an Australian killed in the blast. The country's PM, Anthony Albanese, said he spoke to Netanyahu. There is a need for a thorough investigation into what happened here and Prime Minister Netanyahu committed to that. I made clear again uh, that it is Australia's view that humanitarian assistance must reach people in Gaza unimpeded and in large quantities. This is a sentiment that's been shared by governments around the world in the wake of these deaths. But charities are concerned. The World Central Kitchen has paused its operations in Gaza Others are doing the same, fearful their staff aren't safe. Graham Stothard, ITV News.